Ladies and gentlemen, students and faculty, we are coming to you for the first time this year in Full HD from the CISD TV studio. I'm Morgan Cashin bringing you your Bobcat news. First, let's all stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. Students, the ACT will be given at Salina High School on October 24th. The deadline to sign up is next Friday, September 18th. There will be an upcoming SAT prep class that will be held here at Salina High School on September 21st, 22nd, and 24th. It will be from 5 to 8.30 each evening. The cost for the class is $99, and for more information, please contact Ms. Crane or Ms. McFadden. Also, Beta Club will be selling Brookshire's chicken tenders for a dollar each, and Beta members, if you have not yet picked up event sheets, be sure to do that and place it in a folder you have designated Beta. Well, school has started again, and so has Texas high school football. And as always, the anticipation for the showdown between Salina Bobcats and Prosper Eagles is mounting. Curry Kennedy reports. Thank you, Morgan. School is restarted again, and with the restart of school comes the rekindling of the longtime rivalry between Prosper High School and Salina High School. We hit both buildings to find out what people think about this big-time showdown. The rivalry has been blazing for decades. Two schools separated by only a few miles of pavement. Salina High School and Prosper High School locked together in a struggle for supremacy yearly, and oftentimes the victor is unclear. However, Prosper, with a decisive victory over the Bobcats in football last year, has spurred an even hotter urge for redemption in Salina, an urge that may have reignited some of the fire lost after an era of Bobcat wins. Is the rivalry still alive? Heck yeah, the rivalry's still alive. Well, yeah. I mean, it was kind of dying down because we killed them over and over again until last year when that happened. But um, that, that really sparked the spark the fire again and uh, this year is going to be crazy. Heck yes it is, it's always been alive in softball, volleyball, any sport you can think of. Even football, even though we won against y'all last year. Who's winning the rivalry? I'd say Prosper, but in football probably Salina because they got most wins, but we're going we're gonna to take that. We are. Who knows, maybe there's a turn of the tide, but we'll see at homecoming. I actually want to say, actually I want to say y'all. We are, because we kill them every year, except for last year. It, uh, is the rivalry confined to football? No, it's, it's everything. Any sport, anything. Everywhere. I see people from Prosper, and I just hate them already. If you're walking around in the mall, and you see another Prosper dude, you're just, dang, I just don't like Prosper. <laughs> so, I mean, it's really mainly in football, but if you just see another Prosper person because of football, it's not, you don't like them. I think they want to be like us. I don't think it stops just at football because there's basketball and volleyball and track. No, it's combined in softball and everything because when we go out for softball, we go all out. People are saying things about the Prosper High School looking similar to the Salina High School. What do you have to say about that? No, I don't think so. Too much green and white, but, you know, more spirit. Roaming throughout the halls of both schools, one can sense the anticipation of yet another contest between the Eagles and the Bobcats. Will the Bobcats attain revenge, or will the Eagles start a new era? From what we can tell, the rivalry will be smoldering for a long, long time. From Salina High School, I'm Curry Kennedy, CISD-TV. Well, one thing is for sure, the Salina Bobcats are looking for a comeback this year. Homecoming is October 16th, and the theme is All Out War Salina Bobcats Army of One. 
so be considering ideas for your class floats and be sure to join the Army and support your Solana Bobcats. The Solana FFA and Solana FFA alumni will be having a fish fry on Sunday, September 20th. There will be a fishing tournament and other fun activities going on as well. The fishing tournament will start at 9 a.m. and end at noon. The entry fee for the tournament is $5. Please contact Mr. Lehman for more details on this matter. That's it for this week, Bobcats, on campus and around the community. You'll get the full story here. Reporting from CISD TV studio, this has been Morgan Cashin. See you next week for our next edition of CISD TV News.